father found burned from head to toe, stabbed 70 times, and all evidence leading officials to his daughter, Sierra Halseth, and her lover, Aaron Guerrero. Daniel's death was ruled a homicide after the autopsy report revealed he was stabbed nearly 70 times, mostly on the upper part of his body, such as head, neck, and torso. His mangled body showed signs of attempted dismemberment before Daniel was stuffed inside a sleeping bag and set on fire. Daniel Wendell Halseth was an IT consultant who lived in Las Vegas, Nevada. He loved going outdoors and capturing the beauty of the world living by his motto, always stop and smell the roses, as well as enjoying posting pictures and videos of himself and family members on his social media. Sierra, his teenage daughter, had recently been prohibited by her father to date Aaron Guerrero, the 18-year-old she had been dating for about seven months. Come back to our YouTube channel <laughs> after day murdering, three. day three after <laughs> murdering something. Aaron and Sierra had plotted to run away together to Los Angeles after stealing both their parents' money to fund any expenses. With no way to be together, Sierra and Aaron felt pushed to do the unthinkable. Daniel posted on his social media regularly and was consistently in touch with his family members, which is why they found it strange when they didn't hear from him. Daniel's mother, Christine Hauseth, was one of those concerned relatives trying to get a hold of him by reaching out to Sierra, Daniel's teenage daughter. Hey Sierra, I'm trying to get a hold of your dad. Where is he? Christine messaged. His phone has been acting up. It should be fixed by tomorrow night. No worries, Sierra responded. As the silence from Daniel continued, the concerned messages followed. What is the problem here? Why are you doing this? A few days prior to the murder, Sierra and Aaron stole Daniel's bank card to purchase tools and chemicals at a hardware store to cover up their horrendous act. Christine finally had enough and arranged a welfare check for Daniel on April 9th. How may I help you? Yeah, hi, I need a welfare check. On, I don't know who, if on who are we doing a welfare check? Uh, for my son. He's been missing for two days. His work's called, his family's called, I've called, his ex-wife's called. There's nobody answering the phone and nobody is, there's, there's nothing. He just doesn't act like this. Does he live alone? Uh, he lives with his 16-year-old daughter who is not answering the phone. And the weird part is, I'll just tell you this, there's been ATM withdrawals at three different ATM ATMs. That is when Daniel's landlord and a friend discovered Daniel's burned from head to toe corpse lying on the garage floor. They immediately contacted the police and reported the body. How's there a dead body? Oh my god. Oh my god. 8417 Dumpty Court. Police, fire, or medical? Uh, there was a fire and um, we went in to investigate. The fire must be a couple of days old. But there's a dead body in the garage. We just found him with the homeowner that doesn't live here. Inside the house, police officials found all sorts of potential weapons, such as a chainsaw, handsaw, circular saw, lighter fluid, scissors, bleach, and blades, some of which appeared to be stained by blood. The crime scene showed an individual's effort to clean up and dispose of evidence. However, left behind receipts to ATMs and the location where the tools were purchased. Once police officials got a hold of the hardware store surveillance footage, they could clearly identify both Sierra Haltzet and Aaron Guerrero buying the tools found at the crime scene. Soon after, a warrant was set out for Aaron Guerrero. On the search for the couple, police officials found Daniel's vehicle, which was used as the couple's getaway car and left behind a blood-soaked rug in the trunk. Sierra and Aaron were finally detained in Salt Lake City on April 13th by the City Transit Authority when they asked for proof of paid fare and the couple allegedly couldn't provide any. After being detained and extradited back to Las Vegas, officials went through their belongings where they found a disturbing video filmed using Sierra's phone. <laughs> Welcome back to our YouTube channel. After day, three. day three after <laughs> murdering something. Whoa! Don't put that on the camera. It was worth it. Um, and we had sex a lot today. Mm -hmm. I was payment for doing it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> this video as well as the hardware store surveillance footage were two out of the 70 plus items of evidence brought up in the couple's grand jury indictment. Aaron and Sierra now face nine felony charges, such as murder with a deadly weapon, conspiracy to commit murder, First degree arson, four counts of fraudulent use of credit or debit card, conspiracy to commit robbery, and robbery with the use of a deadly weapon, all of which both Sierra and Aaron pleaded not guilty to. Daniel Halted's family stated, 
to have him taken away from us in such a horrific, savage, senseless, and violent act of murder leaves us heartbroken, and our grief is unyielding. We are waiting for justice to be served with the maximum accountability allowed. We love Dan very much, and we miss him every moment of the day.